What is going on everybody, Zonic here, and in today's video, we are diving into the Great League meta with another Pokemon that got an update this season. Not directly, as in terms Machamp itself, but the move Cross Chop got an increase in damage, and obviously Shadow Machamp has been wanting to come back to this meta, it has been wanting to thrive in the Great League, and maybe it's its time now. We're gonna give it a try today. I'm pairing it with a Skarmory lead that makes a really nice core in this meta and a Stabilize Safe Swap, hoping to draw out um, maybe the Charmers that might be uh, lurking around in this meta. This team was a lot of fun to use. Very strong, very nice positive sets. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, getting into the first battle. Skarmory on the lead versus Shiny Lickitung. This is a traditional, just straightforward matchup. We're gonna be resisting the Body Slam and Power Whip charge moves. And what I'm gonna be looking to do is basically winning this lead without having to give up any shields. So they decide to go for Power Whip right there. I think it's a slight uh, misplay on Varen. I think Body Slam is a little bit better in terms of damage per energy. Um, but that's okay. Learning lesson there for them. We're going to go ahead and uh, just safely overload. We're obviously going to get hit with another charge move here, but Skarmory being very tanky is going to be able to survive. And as you can see, Body Slam, definitely the better move to go for there. And now we go for Sky Attack. Now this is where things get very interesting. We don't know what they have in the back, but obviously Lickitung off the field, Sableye might have a better matchup. There's a Lantern back there. So we're going to go ahead and swap out in a Sableye right away. And they instantly bring in Shadow Glide. Gligar. This is very good for us. Obviously, Shadow Gligar does well against Machamp with the Wing Attack Air Aerial Ace combination. And they decided to let the uh, the foul play go through, which is obviously a huge win condition now for me. So we're going to go ahead and let Sableye go. They decided to go for Aerial Ace, which is not enough damage to take me out. So I'm able to get to this foul play right here. This puts them in a tough position. Are they going to give up a shield and go uh, maintain switch advantage? But they decide not to. They're going to go ahead and come in with Lantern. And my Sableye is just going to clutch up for me. This Pokemon was my biggest investment so far in the Great League. It took me a long time, a couple years to really get it ready and it was well worth it. We get a shield right there. Machamp now coming in and this is what it's built for. Four arms of punching power. Two to one shield advantage here against the Lantern. All we need is two cross chops in order to win and I still have Skarmory as a potential sacrificial swap if I do in fact need it. Now, I think we could survive a Surf if they are able to get to a third one, but we really shouldn't need it in this matchup as we can just go for back-to-back -back cross chops now. Even if they had the Surf right now, it's going to be a charge attack priority and Machamp is going to win that. So that is going to be a good game. Very well played. Uh, Machamp right here, putting in work in game one. It did very well for me in these sets. Boom! Here we go. All right. Moving to the next one. Skarmory on the lead versus Skarmory. Okay, so this matchup right here is all about, and I had weak connection and couldn't attack right there, but that's fun. We're behind on energy. It's okay. Um, this matchup is all about who's going to risk it for the Brave Bird, and what I like to do, they decided to go for Sky Attack first. I just go for one Sky Attack, one Brave Bird, right? Especially if, uh, if they're opting to go for two Sky Attacks here, uh, we can easily survive that. So what you guys are going to see is we're going to go ahead and overload on energy. We're going to let them throw. If they decide to throw Brave Bird here, that is fine by me. But I should be able to survive as they go for Sky Attack. And now we're going to overload on energy. And this is where the Brave Bird now can KO at this range. You want to throw it just before they get to that third Sky Attack. Because you can get yourself Shield Advantage this way. And uh, boom! Down it goes. And in comes Lantern. So we will go down to Spark. That is fine. Machamp now. Obviously wants to come in, but I decide to come in with Sableye instead. My thought process here, if there is a Skarmory and a Lantern, uh, odds are there might be something um, more weak to counter in the back. There could be. Maybe it's a Lickitung. Maybe it's a Bastidon. Um, we don't know, but I decided to play this neutral matchup instead as we go ahead and go for foul play here with the Sableye. Now, this Lantern still has shields, but we are able to get to another foul play in time, and this is where we can get ourselves the ones. The one-to-one -one shielding scenario, which is going to be advantageous for a Shadow Machamp, which I should be able to swap in, as we're going to go ahead and let the charge move go through. We're going to be able to survive the Thunderbolt, now we unleash the Machamp in order to counter down, and they 
don't they shouldn't get to it in time yeah they don't final pokemon is going to be a gudra so not what i was expecting i was thinking might have been lickitung could have maybe been a whiz cash or a uh, Swampert, but a Gudra, nice to see it out on the field. It's first appearance in my battles against other trainers, and uh, this shiny Gudra is going to meet the four fists of uh, power here. Boom! Can't fully boom that one. Uh, we can safely shield and fast move down, and that is going to be a good game, very well played. Uh, Machamp, really nice kind of closer in this meta, as long as you can get those flyers out of the way like we did on the lead. All right. Moving into the next one, Skarmory on the lead versus Chargebug. Okay, Chargebug's a tough one for this team. We're going to go ahead and swap out into the Sableye. Uh, this is a, a better... It, it's tough to say what's better, um, to be completely honest, but we can just do a lot of damage, and I'm concerned... Or, not concerned. Um, I'm reading that they're deciding to stay in, which makes me concerned that there's another answer to Lantern in the back, and they have... They have a charge bug and a lantern. Uh, so this is bad for Skarmory. Skarmory is not liking this team so far. We land the return though. So we're getting a lot of use out of our Sableye right here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, excuse me, and let the Surf go through. I was hoping I could make it to a foul play in time, but I was one fast move off right there, which is unfortunate. And now they have quite a bit of energy. Excuse me, whoa. So we gotta come in with Machamp right here. And uh, unfortunately, they do get to the charge move. So I'm going to have to let this go. I could have maybe come in with Skarmory, but I, I got a shield. got to stop the damage. And uh, this is all going to come down to that charge bug, which does decide to come in. Now, this is the risky play. I'm calling X Scissor. So I'm going to no shield. It is the X Scissor. That's a huge no shield for me. And then they're going to go ahead and go for the second charge move, which is fine. I have to give up a shield on this one. And now we get to see what they have in the back. And they swap in a Talon Flame. So Rock Slide is still a move that Machamp has access to. Boom! One shots the Talon Flame. In comes the Charge Bug. And again, this was a team triple countering Skarmory. So Machamp here is able to get to the cross chop. This is going to be getting the final shield of this game. We swap out into Skarmory, trying to race. We're desperately trying to get to that sky attack in time. As a discharge will land. Here we go. One fast move away. Wasn't able to get it. The discharge is going to be coming through. Boom, down goes the Skarmory. Counter versus Volt Switch. Here we go. They survive with one HP in a dream. It doesn't get any closer than that. Good game. All right. Now, we were triple hard countered with Skarmory. Skarmory here is going to be taking down the, uh, the <laughs> Shadow Victory Bell relatively easily. So, mind you, that last game, right? Charge Bug, Talonflame, and Lantern. And we brought it to one health point. There were so many situations where we could have potentially won that. And uh, now this game, it's it's quite the opposite, right? We got Shadow Victory Bell and Lee, Jellicent, Safe Swamp. So we're going to go ahead and No Shield. It is going to be the Surf. We can overload on energy. We want to make sure we have a foul play ready to go. Uh, just in case they decide to let it go. Or even if they shield, we want to be able to throw the back-to-back -back or near back-to-back. -back. I got to do one more Shadow Claw. But uh, we should see that... Um, Shadow Victory Bell come in, which we do. And now it's going to be a matter of if we can get to another foul play. Sableye still has a decent amount of health left. Razor Leaf still hurts. But if they fast move me down, which they're going to do in time, that's okay. Skarmory is able to maintain switch advantage here. And the next Pokemon coming in is going to be Annihilate. Now, I can't necessarily swap out, but Skarmory has energy advantage, right? We already have a Sky Attack ready to go. So what we're just going to do is just shield the charge move that they throw. Uh, the Shadow Ball, um, even if this, is, uh, if this is a bait, I don't think they make it to an Ice Punch and a Shadow Ball or a Night Slash and a Shadow Ball. But in fact, it was Shadow Ball, so we can just go straight Sky Attack. So Skarmory, getting, getting massive vengeance in this next battle, being pretty much useless in the previous one, and now it's what I rely on to win this game as it's going to be taking down the Shadow Victory Bell as well so that is going to be a good battle very well played i was definitely expecting a bastion in the back uh, mind you we would have we would have won this regardless if it, if it was a bastion the shadow machamp would have uh, would have loved to see its old rival there as uh 
a sky attack, boom, is going to be taking down the Shadow Victory Bell. Good game. All right, moving to the next one. Cresselia on the lead. Uh, really nice lead for us, considering the Machamp is in the back. Uh, Sableye does well against Cresselia too, but this is uh, this is fine with me, especially if Cresselia is paired with a potential Lantern back there. This is the kind of matchup we want to see. We're resisting everything. Future Sight still does a good amount of, uh, of chip damage there. I would classify that, but uh, Sky Attack here, gonna be putting in some decent damage against a Cresselia. Now, mind you, Cresselia is very tanky for the Great League. It's even tankier in the Ultra League, but Skarmory, with these resistances, with its defenses, it is a uh, it is a flying tank here against a Cresselia, so we are safe to dramatically overload on energy and go for a Sky Attack now. We did it on charge attack priority so that we can try to force them to maybe want a shield, um, but they decided not to. So Cresselia is down. Machamp is happy. Next Pokemon coming in is going to be the Feraligator. So this is totally fine by me. We're putting in a lot of pressure now with Skarmory as uh, Sky Attack is able to get a shield. Things are looking good. The Feraligator decides to throw Hydro Cannon right away, which I am very thankful for. Obviously, had they overloaded on energy... But we still have 2 to 1 shield advantage, so that's fine. We're going to come in with the Machamp right here. Counter, Cross Chop, putting in work against the new Crocodile of the meta. And this is what you love to see when you come back to Go Battle League. When you come into a new season of the Great League, is seeing Pokemon like this. When did you think this was ever going to happen? A Shadow Machamp versus a Feraligator as meta Pokemon in the Great League. No, I, I didn't predict that. All right, Feraligator's gone. Next Pokemon is going to be another Gudra. Unfortunately, this Gudra is just not having a good day against this Machamp team as a Cross Chop now is going to be getting the final shield and then we can swap into Sableye to close this one out with a foul play. And that is going to be a good battle, very well played. We're going to go ahead and give up a shield just in case it, uh, I think it has Draco Meteor. No, it, they wouldn't have gotten to that in time. Is it Draco Meteor or Outrage? It has a, forgive me, it has a hard-hitting uh, dragon charge move, I believe. But boom, down it goes. So Gudra, see ya. This team's good against Gudra, if you haven't noticed. All right. Moving to the next one. Skarmory versus Primarina. This is spicy. They swap out right away into Obstagoon, and Machamp is just like, yes, sir, thank you very much, as we fully counter down Things are looking good. Now, obviously, with an Obstagoon safe swap, that is bold. That is bold. So they got to be weak as well in the back to counter. My guess is maybe Umbreon um, back there. So with Primarina now coming in, we're going to have to throw this Rock Slide right away, but I accidentally overtap. Thankfully, I am able to get the Rock Slide. And just look at this damage. Just feel the power. Boom. Love it. Primarina, extremely low. Skarmory's going to come in and fast move down while we resist Charm. They can't even swap out because the switch clock is not up. Final Pokemon is Vigoroth. So in hindsight for them, Vigoroth would have been a better safe swap for that team. It's only one times weak to counter. Um, but uh, regardless, this is gonna be a good game, very well played as we can safely go for Brave Bird here to force the final shield and then close this game out with return, right? We throw the Brave Bird, we get the final shield. Now we swap into Sableye. We have two to zero shields. Sableye, even Rock Slides, not enough to one shot. They're gonna need they're gonna need four Rock Slides in order to take us out, or uh, or three Body Slams in a yeah. They're gonna need a lot of energy, which they don't have. So we're uh, we're looking pretty good. We should be able to get to the return relatively shortly. Now they decide to go for Bulldoze. So just a just a toss out, maybe a food for thought for my opponent there. If you are in the comments, good game. Uh, sir, Machamp obviously uh, hard countered the Obstagoon, but what I would suggest is uh, TMing Bulldoze away to Rock Slide. It's much better in this meta. Good game. All right, moving into, I believe, might be the final battle, maybe one more. We got uh, Shadow Dragonair here on the lead, so pretty nice lead. Shadow Dragonair usually pairs well uh, in this meta, or commonly, I should say with either Bassidon or Lantern as its anchor, both of which Skarmory does not want to see, so I'm very happy to be on the lead against it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let these go through. I'm okay with Skarmory going down in this situation. If my team read is, if my prediction is potentially correct, uh, Skarmory's use case is, is on the lead right here. And we don't need to give up a shield. We can easily let this go. We can come in with Machamp and counter down, get some energy. So we're going to let the Aqua Tail go through. Shadow Machamp now. 
uh, I think is going to do a bit better in terms of uh, damage with counter. So we're going to be able to do one, two, see a Shadow Dragonair is gone. Next Pokemon coming in is going to be a Shadow Staraptor. This was not expecting this. All right, we got to toss everything we thought was happening out the window. Things are getting spicy. Here we go. We got to swap into Sableye now. Two to zero shields. Things are looking good. We have to shield the charge move. Shadow Staraptor can be a nightmare with its close combat and fly. This is, uh, this is getting a bit crazy. Now, Feraligator comes in. And I decide... Mm, I throw on charge attack priority. That is... That's a mistake. You are all looking at me. I should have just over farmed because I get the guaranteed KO maybe even with foul play but now I'm in a situation boom where I have to I'm not going to win this race to the foul play they're going to overload they're going to time it perfectly and throw the fly here and this is I, I had a clear win condition in front of me and I just I misplayed it Machamp now coming in but don't put down the four we take each other out at the same time. Good game! All right, moving into the final battle. Skarmory, Annihilate. Okay, so this is actually not the greatest. I know we have Sky Attack, but it's not the greatest of leads because Annihilate is just too good. Now we decide to swap into Sableye and we draw out a Talonflame, which is really interesting because we're gonna be able to put a lot of charge move pressure uh, because of how far ahead we were on energy. So there's one. Here we go, here's two, and now they're forced to shield. If they don't, they have to, uh, they have to, uh, face the, face off against the Sableye potentially, as now I think we're gonna go ahead and let this go. I feel like I might be able to counter down. I'm not necessarily wanting switch, I'm wanting shield advantage for this game, uh, because of Annihilate, right? So I'm gonna come in with Machamp, and I think I can counter... No, I can't counter down in time. I thought I was going to get there just in time, but I'm forced to shield, unfortunately. I thought it might have been two counters there, but it ended up being four. Um, three almost had it. And now we get to see a Feraligator come in. So this actually took me by surprise. I thought Annihilate was going to be coming into this matchup, considering it resists the Rock Slide and Cross Chop. So I think this was a slight misplay by my opponent as I get free damage off right here. Machamp had so much energy, and that is going to be a good game. Um, unfortunately for my opponent, boom! The, uh, the Skarmory is going to come in, and they do decide to surrender. So good battle. It's okay if we make mistakes. It's all good. But this team, a lot of fun. We're going to go ahead and rewind to the beginning. Uh, Shadow Machamp, I think uh, I had a lot of fun with it in this meta. We'll have to see how the Great League, Open Great League meta evolves over this season. Shadow Machamp, though, getting an update to damage with Cross Chop is something to consider. If you guys still have it on your roster, um, hopefully you do. If you don't, maybe look to add it at some point. But there might be some play for it uh, in this meta. Is it going to be the top fighter overall? I don't know. I think Annihilate might be a bit better uh, because of its resistances and moveset. But Shadow Machamp can still do incredibly well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.